This is today's project. It's a cherry log, fairly straight. The process I'm gonna to try today, I found on Woodmiser's website, they had an easy way to quarter saw lumber. So I'm gonna give that their little uh, method a test and we'll see what kind of boards come out of this guy. Okay, so I just reviewed the instructions on Woodmiser's site. Uh, step one is going to be cut, basically cut this squared up, cut the top face off, then I'm gonna cut, flip it over, cut the bottom face off, flip it again, cut, flip it again, cut. I'm realizing now that this is probably gonna be a lot harder than it looked, but we're gonna see what we can do anyway. So uh, I'm gonna set up this log's not huge on the small end. It only measures. On the small end, it only measures about 19 inches. So I'm not going to get a whole lot of quarter and saw and stuff out of, in their little example, you got quarter and saw and stuff out of the cutoffs. I don't think I'm going to get any out of that, but we'll see. Mainly I'm going after the heartwood here, this nicer looking section. Alright, we can get started, see what I can do. we got two sides cut off I keep working it around the only good thing is the more we take off the lighter this sucker gets Okay, we have one giant square of cherry. This sucker is heavy. It's starting to look pretty good. We're getting into the nice reddish color on the inside here. Okay, just reviewed my instructions off the Woodmiser website for the easy quarter sawing. And the next step is to remove the center. Now, this log is about 13 inches by 12 inches, so I don't have a ton to remove out of the center that I can think of. So I'm going to make the judgment call. I'm going to come up 7 inches from the bottom. So I'll have a whole stack of 7 inch wide boards, and then I'm going to come down from the top and aim for maybe about 5 inch or so from the top so I can get some 4 or 5 inch boards. Let's say, yeah, should be able to get 5 and then it'll just take out the center. I'm going to try that and see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, I'm starting to see how this is coming together. Um, I drew some grain lines just to kind of give you an idea. What next step is you take these two chunks, take this guy out the center, then we're going to take these two chunks. This is five inch, this is seven, rotate them up 90 degrees, and then I'm going to flat saw them all the way down. And I should have some nice quarter saw wood when I'm done. gotten so far it's starting to look pretty good getting into the uh, hole in the center now I'm going to keep plugging away at it halfway through that's why I figured I'd do a little water test on it see what it's looking like I don't know if it's quarter sawn or wrist sawn or mixture of both keep on going just had to flip them over so I can get my last cut and I noticed a new first I mean there must have been two nails in there saw sawed right through them I'm sure it dulled the blade a little bit but this blade did a lot of cutting. They cut this whole cherry tree and it cut uh, pretty much the whole white pine I cut the other day. So, look over the teeth, see if I see anything glaringly, glaringly bad. But from what I read, if you hit a nail, it might dull a few teeth and then just cut right through, keep on going. Everything looks good so far. I don't see anything major. These are supposed to be the double hard uh, blades anyway, so I think they're made to take a little bit of a beating. And there it goes. Well, it's all the way around. I don't see anything major, so I think we're all right. Okay, I'm all finished up. I ended up with, these are all five quarter. I have six ones that are about five inches. I have six that are about seven inches. And these were the last cuts, kind of miscut, misread the scale. I ended up, these ones are a little bit thicker, maybe an inch and a half or so. But I'm going to keep them in the pile. Has a little bit of bark on there anyway on that one. But as you can see, they're looking pretty good. Now I got to bring them home, stack them up, stick them, and wait for them to dry forever. And then I'll be able to do something with them. 